I want to share with you, since I still got time, I want to share with you my history. To be exact, I joined the business in year 2010. It was about seven years back. At that time, I was still a student. I was still a student in a college. And the reason why I joined the business is because of the flexibility in time that I can have. That while I'm studying, I can go out to sell insurance. But at that time, uh, I, didn't, you know, I didn't see what I can achieve in future. I just look at my boss. I know that he's doing very well. So I say, I believe I can be like him someday. But I didn't do very well in the second year. First year, I did quite well. And second year, I lose my focus. And I lose my focus in order to survive because I do not want to go out to get a full-time job. I know if I go out to get a full-time job, I know my insurance business is going to be a gone case. And because I've promised every of my clients that I will stay in this business forever as long as I live to serve you. I have given them this promise when I started because all of them, most of them, are about 35 to 50 years old. And they told me this. They say, you do not be like my previous agent that you leave me. I say, I told myself, I've heard this many, many times. I say, I'm not going to be that person. I'm going to serve you. That's my promise. So every time when I feel like quitting, I tell myself, I need to hang on. But in 2012, I didn't really do well. But in order to survive, I went out to give tuition to students. I go back to my previous field in giving tuition to students. And as I'm giving tuition, I realize the income. I have an imbalance in my heart. I say the amount of money I'm earning is not sufficient to take care of the lifestyle that I want, to give the best to my parents, to give the best to my loved one. I say it's not enough. I need to make a change. And I was stuck in giving tuition for nine months. Up to September in 2012, I say to myself, I must, I must go back to insurance business. I must. And in October, I say, I must do it this month. And I did it. And, and in 2013, it was the first time that I qualified for supremacy in my company, which is uh, the awards, the trip that go overseas. If we really want something so big, we, we, if we have really got the burning desire in our heart, we can really do it. That was the turning point in 2013. That is what Robert said just now earlier, that you need the burning desire. You need the desire to want it. it. So I learned in 2013 that the desire, the burning desire in you is very important to keep us going. 13, I start to qualify for Super Mercy, which is about 100,000 sales a year you can qualify. And in year 2015, uh, 14, the next year, the next year, my boss challenged me and said, you need to go to be the top 1%, which is the highest supremacy in the company. At that time, I don't believe it as well. Beginning of the year, I don't believe. But I told myself that I need to keep on doing, I need to keep on going. Because my boss said, if you keep on going, if you keep on doing the right thing, you will be there. So I keep on doing, keep on doing. And in the month of October, I achieved it. But I didn't meet my MDRT in that year. And I was so near to my MDRT that people around say, what a waste this year, I didn't get it. And deep inside, I, say, I told myself, I say, okay, next year, 2015, I must get it done. It is a still small voice in my heart that I say, I must get it done. So year 2015, I start to prepare, but yet I don't believe it. But I just keep doing what I should do. And by October in 2015, I achieve my MDRT. When I achieve my MDRT, <laughs> did I believe when I achieve my MDRT? I say, wow, it's actually doable. It's actually achievable. And I say, wow, if we really want it, we can really achieve it. When it comes to 2016, I told myself, I said, this year, I believe I can start to believe for second year. Because with the past, First year experience, I believe 2016 can be second year. Was it tough? It was very tough. Because, you know, most of the customer that you have on hand is like already used up. So I say, how can I consistent do my second year MDRT? How can I do it? 
I say, I must get it done. I cannot be one time wonder again. I say, I must get it done. So this is what I want inside. That in 2016, again, I managed to get my MDRT done. <laughs> so my, my point here is very simple. That key to consistency, my first key to consistency, first of all, not to fill our heart with doubt. But doubt do come, yes. Even until this year, does it still come? It still come and haunt me. Just like you see, if you have good food, the fly comes. The fly won't stop coming. But you need to know how to handle this flies. You need to brush them aside. So I told myself, when doubt comes, I'm not going to entertain the doubts. I'm going to focus on doing the right thing. So the first point of key to consistency is what I feel, to fill our heart with faith, fill our heart with hope. Think of what you can achieve, what are the rewards behind achieving MDRT. One of the biggest satisfaction you can get is you will see consistent income. Because many people out there, they will, say, they will tell you, they say, insurance is like a business that can go up and down. I would tell them now that if you do insurance, your income can be consistent as well. That you can be earning 25,000, 30,000, 40,000 a month consistently. By how? By controlling the doubts that come in. By brushing aside what are the doubts that come in to attack us. Brush them aside. But fill our heart with faith and hope. And the second point, the second point is this. That I think is very, very important. That we have to take action to do the right thing. Now when we take action to do the right thing, by repeating, going back to the basic steps every week, every day, I believe we will be able to achieve our MDRT consistently. Thank you very much.